Hi, back. Okay, so, uh, comic two. Comic two in the entire series. This was actually, I think this was back when I was doing them on a daily basis. So there was one, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It was a, it was a weekday thing. That's actually how I'm planning on releasing these videos, mostly because that's where I get the most chance for a quiet room, is Monday to Wednesday. Uh, and the sound, for some reason, there seems to be a bit of a, a wheezy, uh, sort of a, a buzzy, just low hum in the background, and I think that might just be because I've got this plugged into my laptop pretty close to the spinning drive. It might be that, or it might be something else where I'm pick picking up something else, but I've turned the microphone levels down slightly, so hopefully that will help. Anyway, comic two. So this is the one where I introduce the second main character, sort of the two characters to play off each other. This was kind of the Ty Tycho Gabe idea. So this character is Jeff, even though, again, in this one, no one seems to talk to each other using their actual names. Well, he mentions Mr. Grieber in second panel, but Jeff or Kenny don't really introduce themselves to each other. We're, and that uh, sort of the first thing out of Jeff's mouth is his character. It's hey, new guy. You know, I just I just need you. He doesn't really care. He takes on the the, the character that just nothing nothing faces him, nothing bugs him about anything. Now he's based on a good friend of mine, mostly in hair color only, but he's also based on sort of a my friend is pretty he's pretty carefree he's not he's not totally carefree he's actually very responsible he's a lot more responsible than Jeff is because it would be hard not to be but he's he's just based on that guy so oh and I'm just seeing because oh and he's wearing the uniform in the second panel there that's that little weird kind of bird foot three it's it's like a V with another stick so it's just a three line prong on it and that that was in my mind that was the logo of the theater and I think it's probably in my mind it was based a little bit on Empire Theaters and then in the first panel there you can see the very badly drawn head of Kenny because I think I was trying to make him lean over I was always really bad at making anything but a straight up and down head like when I tried to twist it tilt it somehow I'd try to rotate it so he was leaning over it would always come out looking way worse than normal I think this is my first play with some background as well. Usually when they're inside there's no background whatsoever, it's just blank, but in this one, I've to, yeah, yeah, see in the third panel there, there's some half bricks. I think I stole that from Charles Schultz and some Charlie Brown cartoons when I was growing up, where in order to make something look like a brick wall, you didn't have to draw every single individual brick. You just draw a little tiny piece of a brick pattern, and just that subtle addition makes you think, hey, that's a brick wall. So in the second panel, there's the gimmick at the end Kenny's obviously have a little animosity towards Mr. Grieber already. Thinks that he's just a slave. Mostly because I forgot to mention in comic number one, one of my favorite parts is that Mr. Grieber does not ever get Kenny's name right. Ever. And he calls him two to three different names per strip that he's in with him. So in the first one he's calling him Tim. Uh, I forget what the other one was. but So he doesn't like him all that much. And his, he sarcastically questions what Mr. Grieber wants or if he wants anything. Uh, wash his car or his feet. So is he asking if he wants him to wash his Gestapo manager? Oh, so he's referring to the manager as being a Gestapo type. Oh, okay, so he hasn't met his manager yet. I haven't read these in eight years, so I'm kind of reading these for the first time again anyway and analyzing the humor for whatever reason. So this is when he finds out that Jeff himself is the manager and also finds out a lot about Jeff himself. He's constantly smiling. I think there was one comic in all the comics I drew where Jeff that Jeff was in that he was not smiling at one. And it might have only been none at all. But I'm pretty sure that I had one and I, it stuck out in my mind. I, I had to do it because it was in his character but it it bothered me. So this also begins Jeff's addiction or obsession with the fake butter topping. Now the fake butter topping I've seen a lot of uh, popcorn makers and in fact my sister when she worked at a video store she had to make the popcorn and so she'd get out this tub it was like an ice cream tub and you'd have to take just a scoop of this really weird it was like butter mixed it, it was like a tub of margarine but mixed with sawdust it had this weird kind of grainy quality to it and she'd have to scoop that out and plunk it in and I just thought oh and even as a kid, you know, some of the sick, twisted, disgusting things that you eat, even as a kid, you look at it and you think, that's gross. You know, I, I, I ate handfuls of just refined sugar, but this butter topping was just beyond that. So I was just trying to think of 
some little gimmick that Jeff could have. So uh, it, it's it's the ultimate bargaining chip for Jeff. He, he would do anything for fake butter topping, especially licking it out of the popcorn maker. I'm actually kind of proud of my um, my garbage bag. It sort of look well. He sort of looks like he's wrestling a large paper bag in that first one, but then the second the second panels. The second and third panels, it actually looks like a garbage bag that he's got. Because I think that was mentioned in the first comic where he asks how he is at tying garbage bags. Anyway, hopefully uh, no one was all that insulted with the use of the word Gestapo in there, because I think Teddy was just trying to put across the idea that he's pretty much just working for a fascist who cares not for his name and or title and or family, but only wants to put him to work. So that's all I meant. That's all I meant. <laughs> I'm sure everyone gets that. <laughs> oh, gotta apologize for everything. Anyway, moving on to comic three.